Hey, I'm Brian Baldwin, a solution engineer with the education team at Esri. And there was a functionality that was added into ArcGIS Online at the last release, the ability to create a custom web tool. And I've been really excited to test this out. So I wanted to show you a quick way you could use a notebook that deletes users in your ArcGIS Online org and combine this with the web tool functionality. So let's take a look. So first, here I am in the map viewer and I can select analysis tools, search for any of the out of the box tools. And now at the latest release, there's this browse custom web tools option available. As you select it, it can either go across your organization and your content. You can also search across ArcGIS Online, and then you can select these custom web tools that have been created. In this case, I'm gonna hit select task, confirm, and then it pulls in all of the parameters that I've set up in the notebook and published out to make this really easy for end users to run a notebook that could leverage the ArcGIS Python API or ArcPy or additional functionality, but expose just simple parameters to them. In this case, this tool can go through and delete ArcGIS Online users. I'm doing a query across my users for the number of days since their last login. So let's say 700. You can also do a query by usernames. You could do queries on categories or groups or IDs. You could have a number of different ways to set up your users. And I wanted to do this in a really simple way where we could do number of days, but let's also be a little bit safe and we could, we could actually hard code in the username and then who to transfer content to. So I've just entered in a username that I'm going to query for. I entered in a username that I want to transfer any content to, and then I'm going to run the script. All right, that completed in about 10 seconds or so. And for the analysis ribbon, we can also go look at the history to review this. Let's go over and review the members in our org. And I have them sorted by last login date. And so that individual that we had listed was now removed and deleted from the organization. So how did we set this up? So in a Python notebook, you have the ability to now insert parameters. And so right at the top of the notebook, there's the ability here to create specific parameters with different input types. You can have inputs, you can also have outputs. So for these, number of days defined as a long, the username is a string, transfer content to is a string. And then in my notebook, these get entered in, and you can see you can either set them up with defaults. So default um, of the number of days is 365, some default values set up here to define these other variables. And as I scroll down in my script, all that I'm doing is now inserting that variable that we've created. So here, if the username is the username, and same thing here for transfer user to that um, default, and let's go look for transfer user. So down here we can see user.delete reassign to transfer user. And so we're just entering those parameters in here. And then when the notebook runs as a web tool, it just goes and grabs and updates those parameter values for whatever you've entered. I will have this notebook shared out so that you can go review it as well. I think this was a really exciting example of not just using kind of standard analysis tools in the map viewer, but the ways that you can also leverage some of the other tools and methods and parameters in the underlying API for administrative tasks or management tasks, but then also expose those as a web tool. So hope that helps and see you soon. Thanks.